Alright guys, so this is the RSF 650 as you guys have been seeing and today I'm going to install some hydraulic disc brakes on it. So yeah, let's get to installing them. See how nice this is. So, so far all I did was we had to bring it off the stand. My dad helped me. He, we break. We, the rear axle was really tight, like unnecessarily tight from the manufacturer. We were able to break that loose, and that one's already, that one's normal. I don't know if they put like extra lock tire or just cranked it a ton, but we got it off. So I'm gonna start putting, take the wheels off, put the rotors on, put them back on, then change and change the calipers, and then put them back on. So yeah, let's get to it. Right, guys so now we just gotta start unscrewing all of this one this one that one and that one down there then this will come off because i want to wire this through really nicely so let's get to it all right guys i got the battery plastics off right there i took the line out of there the cable line out then i led the hydraulic disc brake line now i'm gonna take the rear wheel off and put the 180 millimeter rotor on let's do it got got the wheel off now we just take these bolts off then we can put this new hydraulic disc brake rotor off rotor on then we can put the front then we can put the hydraulic disc brake rotor on and then we go to the front that's all right guys it was taking too long on the ratchet so i just decided to use the impact went way quicker but i got the rotor on all right, guys, got the back wheel on and the uh, hydraulic disc brake caliper. I had to space it different because it's RSF. I put three washers in between, as you guys can see right there. And then I had to put two washers on the bottom side. But now we're on the front. Remember to always go into star formation. I'm using impact. And remember to just go tighten it little by little once you get to the end of skin. Right there. Right there. Right there. You see, I'm going in a star formation. And then they start over. And start cranking it. Now we're going to put it back on the forks. Alright guys, so turns out the front hydraulic disc brakes do not fit. Because at the beginning of me building my YZ85, I made a rookie mistake of putting mountain bike brakes on it. So that's what happened. Straight cracked off. Look at. So that was a rookie mistake. And so... And it turns out that I used the Zoom hydraulic disc brake mount on accident. And I was left over with the Shimano mount, which was too short to fit on the razor. And I could not get no do nothing to get it. So I'm going to have to order a new Zoom mount. Hopefully that comes soon. And then redo the front. And by that time, I might change the whole forks. Sneak peek of the YZ. But... Alright, so I'm going to get to work on that. It's like 1 right now, so on a, on a Friday, but you. Alright guys, so I just finished putting the hydraulic, all the hot dog disc brakes on, leading it, and doing the uh, grips. So, like it. Sheesh. Then I put the surround grip, surround grip over here. I'll show you the back. So now we're going to do this. Ready? You can see I'm twisting it from right here. And it's still going. So it's like a full twist throttle. But ready? Stops on the dime. So. That's good. Either the next segment will be me putting the front hydraulic disc brake on. Because I wasn't able to. Because the problem I told you guys about. It's either going to be me putting it on. 
or the next segment it will be me writing and and stay tuned if it the other part of me putting the front on the front hydraulic disc brakes is not in this video stay tuned for the next video it will be in it but yeah so next segment will be me putting the front on or the me writing you all right what's up guys so today <clears throat> as you guys saw in the last video or in the last part i put the rear zoom hydraulic disc brake on works perfectly but today since the front didn't fit i'm going to take off these forks then i'm going to install the ones that Sharon here gave me on the RSF. <clears throat> and since this one doesn't have a, a shock unit, it's just straight metal piping. And that one, this one has a shock. Okay. Ready? You see it go down? So that's going to be a big upgrade. So yeah, let's start doing it. Alright guys, you might not be able to see me, you might just be able to see my head, but, <clears throat> so first what we're going to have to do is grab this with the pressing wrench and, and break it loose, like so, ready, see, broke it loose. Okay, so now that you got the... Oh wait, the front wheel up, I forgot to take it out. So now that you got the front wheel off, now you're gonna, oh, that's balanced. So now you're gonna wanna grab yourself an Allen key. I think this, it doesn't say, but correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's a T28. A T28? Or a T30, one of those. So now that you put it in that socket, you're gonna get a 18 millimeter, and then you're gonna put it to loosen it. And then you just start loosening. It. Forgot to hold that. putting these on they should just bolt right in hopefully <laughs> so um two time ups front fender and you so let's get to it forks on i didn't film me putting the front fender on but i put it on so the brakes are in front fender front fork front number plate um and the front wheel and the front rotors so what happened is like i haven't used these forks in a while so 
I think they lost the grease and um, became stiff. So I fixed all that and I put grease in it. I greased it all up. I put a ton of grease in the seal for when I ride. It will fix itself. Like it'll, everything grease will get in and then it'll, everything will be greased up once um, I ride and the grease will get into it. So everything's good, ready. too and then I had to put the front fender a little more up because um yeah suspension now goes up and down so I, every time I go up and down it's gonna hit so I had to bring it up for it to be clear so that worked so now I have everything all the brakes on new grips new forks and yeah so um next clip you guys will see I'll be riding and you all right guys we're on the bike it's feeling a lot nicer like let's hit this you guys took it in compared to the old one you'll hit it like pop up a little oh the grips feel so nice oh sure i forgot gloves ready these are dog wrist brakes you see my wheel just locks up like it's, look at that. Just locks up like nothing. And I'm barely even clenching on the brakes. It handles so nice. My turning radius is a lot better too. Since the old ones had a stopper which you cannot take off. Since I put the new forks on it did come off. Let me just show you guys it real quick. Sheesh, the blacked out forks are so much nicer. You guys can't already tell. Damn, blacked out grips, zoom hydraulic disc brakes. This thing's a beast. Just wait till the upgrades come in. And, and, ready? So if I, since I don't have brake sensors no more, push it in. Oh wait, the bike's off. <laughs> Ready? Burn out. Just a little one right there. You guys can see. Did another one right there. So yeah, this bike is so much nicer. Just takes it like nothing. And so if you guys didn't know, if you guys go back a few videos. I I built the Ronster. It's a you guys know Ronster, right? So it's a replica of his Saron that I built, and he actually came and met me and brought me a ton of parts to build one of my other bikes. And uh, which I did, and then he also gave me these forks which I took off one of my bikes, one of the other bikes, to put on this bike for, it could have something that Saranster gave me on it. It's because he came and met me and brought, I'll put up a picture of all the parts he brought me, it was a ton. Oh, and he brought me a ton of parts, it was so sick. He even posted me on his YouTube channel. It's where he was making a bicycle, and he was turning a bicycle to electric. And then he also put me on his end of the year video, which, thank you, Saronster. And he put me on his end of the year video, which that was really cool. And it was a super cool to meet him. It was so much fun. And yeah, he, he's the one that brought me into the bike community. Like, um, I saw those videos and I wanted, then I built that bike. Then he brought me the parts and then I just wanted to keep doing them keep building them so I just kept after I built the bike with the parts he gave me 
I started building the YZ. And then I got the other bike, which I just sold. And then my parents, my family got me this bike for Christmas, which I'm going to be modding very soon. A little hint, 72 volts, coming soon. And then the YZ is being worked on with the new motor and controller. So yeah, and in the meantime, I just wanted to put the new brakes and forks on this because, and the grips. Because I was just going to do the brakes at the beginning, but then the front brake didn't fit. So I was like, oh well, I might as well. So I did it. And it's amazing. And you. Ready? And my wheel just locks up. No problem. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned.